Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Psalm 51 verses 12. Hello family, warmest welcome back again to the Lovey Star channel. Thank you so much for coming back. I do hope you're doing well and taking very good care of yourselves. Today, I love to share with you three of my favorite salad recipes. These are my go-to. <laughs> they are always so delicious. And they are all so great for all special occasions. I shared today with you my special garden salad. And I have my purple coleslaw. It's so delicious. And of course, the Ghana salad. So please do not go anywhere. Let's get started. Start with my special garden salad. Here I have some lettuce. And I will be blending it with some iceberg salad as well. And I have some cucumber and carrots tomatoes and some red onions okay we're going to chop this so fine <laughs> going to season this up with some olive oil and some lemon juice mustard paste a little bit of salt and some herb seasoning for salad okay that is all very easy <laughs> so right now we're going to go ahead and wash and clean our juice in the ice bag and it's very important to use cold water at this stage okay you don't want to cook it with some warm water right so use cold water and also sprinkle a little bit of cider vinegar if you don't have cider vinegar at home you can add a little bit of salt you know just add a little bit of salt and make sure that it is very nicely washed okay If you choose to use cucumber, you just have to decide on having the skin on or just taking it away. For me, with this special salad of mine, I like to take the skin of the cucumber away. All right. So once done, I'll just go ahead and start with the choppings. I'll go ahead and chop the salad. I'll grate the garlic and chop the cucumber and the onions and the tomatoes as well. Enjoy. The choppings and the gratings have been done so it's now time for me to combine all the seasoning that i introduced earlier on that is the mustard paste and the herbs um the salt and a little bit of the olive oil and now i'm going to squeeze out some lemon juice into it mix all together and then we have our salad seasoning it's so easy but yet very very delicious <laughs> so once all the prepping is done time for us to put our creativity to work so i'm going to start off by laying all the salad i have my um iceberg salad first and i just add my lettuce on top like this lettuce comes off very beautiful more than the iceberg that is why i put the that one on top okay so once i'm done with that i'll go ahead and throw in the tomatoes as well 
this should be done according to your own creative skills but this is how i love it okay so once done i'll add my chopped onions as well i'll add my chopped cucumbers and then the grated carrots the reason why i don't like to mix everything up here for example if you have you're having some gathering you're not going to get everyone to like everything that is on the salad so just in case someone do not absolutely like to have onions in their salad they will just grab the part that has cucumber for example or tomatoes or the carrots okay so you just don't blend everything up just yet or at least wait for all the guests to arrive and ask them if it's okay for you to blend but i love it this way I, is it not looking gorgeous <laughs> so pretty just touch it up with a bit of slice of lemon on top like this oh so gorgeous <laughs> and now it's time for you to just sprinkle or spread the seasoning that we previously did on top and that is it very simple and yet so so delicious these are my favorite toppings you can go ahead and top it up with any you know vegetables or even fruits of choice okay the list is endless just have fun with this you have it with my special garden salad this can be paired with any rice dish of choice or you can have it on its own with a little bit of bread oh my goodness so so good i hope you enjoy this let's move on to our special purple coleslaw you know coleslaw is very delicate crunchy and just so delicious and today i love to turn the color into a purple form which my kids absolutely go wild for it so i'm using some purple cabbage some white cabbage red onions and i'm using some carrots as well and some mayo salt a little touch of some ketchup and apple cider vinegar that is all that is all it's very very easy mind you everything was washed and clean very well with a touch of apple cider as well so for this all that you need is your grater you need to grate every single ingredient that you see with the exception of the um onions if you love to grate it you can go ahead but i love to chop it into you into know, cubes but you can decide to as i said grate it okay if you have a food processor you can definitely use that as well but i just wanted to use the grater to show you how easy it is with that as well okay Now we are done grating and chopping everything so i'm going ahead to put everything in the bowl and they are looking absolutely breathtaking they are so so good right now with that beautiful colors amazing <laughs> And anyway, the onions are quite optional as well. You can do away with it if you're not a fan of onion, okay? So the one ingredient that I did not show you from the beginning is some white pepper, okay? So I just added some powdered white pepper and now I'm adding my salt and the vinegar. Mm -hmm. add about a tablespoon each and i'll also list every ingredient down below with their right measurements okay so now it's time for us to mix everything up very fun to do and lots of people actually enjoy coleslaw so adding it on your menu at any event is going to be such a great choice a lot of people are going to enjoy this so so much all right so it's now time for me to add my ketchup and my mayo it's a tablespoon two tablespoons full of mayonnaise and a tablespoon of ketchup okay 
you i know those mayonnaise were bold <laughs> but that is the fun part of coleslaw you don't have to have a dry coleslaw what is that <laughs> so make sure you ha add enough of mayonnaise okay so mix everything up and there you have it very colorful and beautiful tasty as well it's going to grab a lot of attention with that beautiful color in there and it is very much pocket friendly as well the crunch and everything that comes with it it's just a bonus <laughs> and what i love to also make with my coslo is some quick and easy sandwich oh my goodness if you've not tried it please do well to do so because oh you are missing out <laughs> it is absolutely delicious so there you have it with my special purple coleslaw i really do hope you enjoy it and you are going to give this a try absolutely worth it so let's head out to our ghana salad mm. using some roman salad go ahead and use any type of salad that you prefer and i have some cucumber carrots and some red onion as well and we will need some hard boiled eggs sardines and some baked beans i have some salt and some herb seasoning for the salad and i have some mayonnaise ketchup and i do have some caesar dressing or salad dressing use any salad dressing of choice all right go ahead and wash all the things that we need to wash especially the salad i really concentrate much on this because there are lots of depths that can be hidden somewhere in there okay so make sure you take everything out and spread a little bit of the apple cider vinegar on top and wash it off with cold water very very effective okay So yes, these are so very clean now. It's not time for us to start with our chopping and cutting process. And one thing you want to know about Ghana salad is you want your salad to be washed yet very dry. You don't want to use wet salad because it's going to leave your salad runny and we don't want any of that. Okay, so just use a little bit of kitchen towel paper and after cutting your salad you just go ahead and put it on your towel paper and gently dry it up with it okay like this as you're seeing on your screens okay all that you have to do is go ahead and chop all that you needed to be chopped okay and for the carrots i like to cut them into little squares and cut my cucumber in round forms like this and the onions as well look it is always up to your preference so yes go ahead and prep everything and once done you just start with the laying process with this you start off with your salad okay just put the salad on the button and then comes your carrots i love to pair this too first because of the color that it brings okay and just season it with my herb seasoning and a little tiny little drops of olive oil or any oil of choice okay and some salt as well give it a mix and make sure that everything is well seasoned looking absolutely gorgeous isn't it so so good <laughs> so once then i'll just add my sardines most people also use some corned beef it is absolutely over to you you just use whatever that you prefer do not hate the oil that comes in there with a sardine just go ahead and sprinkle a little bit on top for flavor okay and then goes your baked beans make sure you are trying to be creative about it just don't throw it anyhow just make sure it is well presentable okay so once the baked beans gets in there you go with the creative part again i love to go with the onions and then the cucumbers and of course if you are making ghana salad without eggs is that one to a ghana salad i don't know <laughs> yes you know Ghanaians and eggs we know it's already okay we were trying to keep it a secret but now it's out there so yeah and so <laughs> just add your eggs cut them into fine shapes like this and there you have it just just have a look at this ah oh, isn't that wonderful <laughs> 
<laughs> if you are not a fan of mayo ketchup and all the salad creams you can absolutely end here but to make it you know the top notch saucy and that tastiest you need to add a bit of salad cream mayonnaise and ketchup all right mm-hmm absolutely delicious right there you go with your creativity skills as well you just go ahead and be creative as much as you can with this this needs to be appealing all right so this is my own creative corner <laughs> do yours too sometimes grandma papa will just be throwing it anyhow but it will always always end up very very nice and presentable there you have it. Your Ghana salad is now ready to be served. I always love it with some good, good fried rice, jollof rice, any rice that comes in mind at all. This is going to pair very well with this. Yes, there you have it, family. I really hope you enjoy this and you're going to give one of these salad a try for this holiday season let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section all right thank you so very much family for watching right to the end i really hope you enjoyed this and please be sure to give me a like comment down below share to a few friends and family as well and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey Touch. my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe for more amazing recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one